First tonight, an outpouring of grief in Sacramento after a shooting leaves a seven year old girl dead. Tonight, her family is remembering a little girl whose life was cut short just days before her birthday. God blessed her. God blessed her full of spirit, full of life. And she just, she will be, she will be greatly missed. And tonight, friends and family of Isabel Martin are describing her as a loving young girl who made friends with everyone she met. Isabel and another man were killed in that shooting last night. Tonight, uh, that man has just been identified. He's 42 year old Clifford Hall. Tonight, the child's uncle is charged with both of their killings. The shooting happened just before 1030 along CV Circle and Upper Land Park. Sacramento police say an argument between two groups became violent when somebody pulled out a gun and opened fire. Tonight, police say they have arrested 22 year old Tyrese Martin in connection with the shooting, and they're calling him the only suspect here. That when it was a little girl, you know, that my it, I just lost it, you know? I really did just lost it, and I'm just, right now, I'm, I'm just really feeling down. KCRE 3's Melanie Wingo spoke with the girl's mother tonight. She joins us live with the latest. Isabel's mother and father were both out here in this parking lot a little bit earlier this evening. They and family and friends were holding a candlelight vigil. As you can see behind me, they left candles, flowers, mementos, all in remembrance of little Isabel, all profoundly saddened by her passing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Overwhelming grief as the parents of a seven year old girl grapple Thank with you, her death. She'll be eight on Monday. She was very excited for that. Just five days away from celebrating her birthday, police say Isabel Delgadillo Martin was killed by gunfire Tuesday night. I got on the ground with her. Calling 911. 911. My lady told me to do CPR on her. Isabel's mother with her in the child's final moments of life. I was just screaming for help, someone to help me. Family and friends coming together in tragedy to support Isabel's parents. I know, Lord Jesus, if nobody else knows, I know you are real and you will heal us, Father God. You will heal us from the pain and the tragedy that we continuously see in this community, Father God. And remembering how Isabel touched all of their lives. She was just so happy, beautiful child. She was funny. She was loving. She would come and give you a big hug every time she see you. She was so smart. Um, just a blessing to be around. Her mother sharing with us some final photos Isabel took, saying she was the kind of kid who loved to take pictures and do video blogs. This is her, the first time you got a chance to use the camera, huh? Friends committing to help in this traumatic time. We're just going to be here. We're going to be here. However long they need me, whatever they want me to do, I'm going to do it. And police and the family confirmed that Tyrese Martin, the man in jail tonight in connection to the shooting, was Isabel's uncle. Now, we're still working to learn more about exactly how this shooting unfolded and what exactly led to the shots being fired. But what we do understand from Isabel's mother is that it was pretty chaotic in the moments leading up to and after Isabel's death. Reporting live in the Upper Land Park area tonight, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Well, we do know that that family is hurting tonight and we are thinking about them. Thanks, Melanie.